Hello, good morning and welcome to Craft with Bella Jane. My name's Lynn and this morning we're going to be working on the first week of the May Challenge from Lion Dot Arrow and um, it is the Typesetter Box and um, a wonderful story from Natalie. Um, I didn't, I'd never, you know, I didn't know anything about these boxes that people kept lovely memories in um and uh, so i've um i've made a start i haven't stuck anything down and i guarantee as soon as i take everything off um i'll forget where they're gonna go <laughs> but I, i've made a start i've cut obviously i cut everything out there's a lot of fussy cutting and um, i had to resort to my small scissors which is you know that's mega for me <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I'm going with them. I'm going with the memories. It's supposed to be, yeah, it's supposed to be a memory sheet. So it's sort of made a booklet. Um, so I'm going with the, um, the family, uh, memory and, um, and I'm going to, um, use, I'm not doing my own family, um, because, well, whilst I do have, um, this is something that I made, whilst I do have, um, very small photos of my family i just thought i'd rather um do an imaginary family to be honest <clears throat> and um yeah so that's what i decided on so uh yeah i've got all these ready and um i've put those the from the um the letters that we cut out so what i've done is i've used the long um sheet this one and I folded it in half and then I thought actually last night I've printed it on 120 uh, GSM paper and um, I wondered if maybe I should make like a little spine in there like I did with the um, with the uh, Alice not Alice um, with the Lion the Witch and the Wardrobe um, wardrobe um, because I thought it might give me a bit more room because I'm actually, you know, we've got like bulky things like this button um, on the outside. And I thought, well, I might put bulky things on the inside. So I might just do that. Um, I'm using this one for the uh, inside. Now, I know it doesn't fold in the middle in the same way, but I thought, well, rather than um, rather than print another sheet out the same, I thought I'll use this anyway. Um, because there's still plenty of compartments and um, I can I can do that so um, yeah so uh, it's I'm going to sew it together with a, a pamphlet stitch now um, I'm not sure whether there's a five hole pamphlet stitch but I'm going to find out because <laughs> it's a quite a long length isn't it and I thought maybe it needs an extra couple of holes to get there so yeah, so that's my that's my inside. So that's going to be like that. That's my outside. That's my inside, and that's the back. So that's what I'm going to do. And I mean, it's way too big to go in a journal. So any journals that I would make. So it's going to have to be a piece by itself. And um, I, yeah, I love it already. <laughs> I haven't even done it yet, and I love it. Um, and I intend to sew. Um, like these buttons, I intend to sew them on um, so that, um, you know, I, like I'll sew, I'll sew that button onto there and then that'll be, you know, and then whatever I sew onto here will be covered up. I'll put tape on it and then it'll be covered up by the, um, by the inside page. Okay, so um, I'm just going to get some sewing things together. Um, and I realise that I do the thing that um, some junk journalists don't like. I go off camera and do a few bits and then I come back on camera and do a few bits more. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to carry on with that because otherwise my videos would be interminably long. So I'll be back in a minute. OK, so I found some, uh, well, I haven't found it. It was there. found some thread and um, I'm sticking to this blue theme. And um, I'm going to just sew this button onto there. Oh, was it going on there? No, it's going on here. There, there it is. It's going onto that one. So we'll just, uh, or should I put it there? 
because that's a blank corner but I've got the bird in the other corner so um, I don't know whether it should be all over there yeah we'll put it over there that's where I had it originally so we'll just um, put this through here I've got a big knot on the other side and I'll put that through there Now I like to um, put my thread in the other side and tie a knot on this side, but I'm not doing that today because I think this is a better, this is better for this. So just put a couple of um, stitches in there just to, um, just to, so that it shows up really more than anything. And that's enough that'll do so we'll just pop that through there and tie another knot in fact i'll do another one just to make sure i mean it's going to have a bit of tape over it so it'll be fine so that's that one so that's going to be a little cluster so we'll just ink that and then we'll ink the little bird. These are out of Natalie's other kit, the one from the last from last month. Um, not from the kit, sorry, from the um, freebies. Um, <coughs> I, I'm using freebies at the moment because I can. You know why not? And I've looked at the um, the kits, and at the moment I don't need to to buy a full kit, um, so I'm not going to at the moment. Um, it's not to say that I don't buy kits. I do buy kits. I buy them all the time. And um, this needle's too thick for this. Oh, there it goes. Um, I buy them all the time. So, um, you know, it's not that I don't buy kits. Uh, but if, if creators are giving us freebies, uh, why not make the best out of them and make something really nice? That's what I think. Um, so that's what I do. And I had, I, I am a member of another group, and I um, I've got another page called Craft with Bella Jane now. It's a new page, so I've been joining groups. And I tried to join this group that I was a member of as Linwood Ward, and um, it came up and said, um, because one of the questions was give the date the last time the last time you bought a kit from this group and um and of course i hadn't ever bought a kit from this group because the group gives it the group is designed to give you free papers for your junk journals and so their monthly kit their monthly challenge they have freebies so I um I think I want to put that on a bit of card. So I said I haven't actually bought um a kit as yet. It's not to say I won't, but I haven't at the moment. And they came back to me and said my membership had been declined uh, until such time as I bought a kit from them. And I thought, well, oh, that's just ridiculous because you're supposed to be a group that offers free papers. So I don't know what that's about. It's a bit mad, isn't it? So yeah, so I've not joined that I've not joined that month this month's challenge because whilst it's not a lot, they they want two dollars for the freebie papers. They're not freebie papers if you've got to pay two dollars for them. So I don't understand that. And um so I haven't actually done their challenge this month. So there we are. Anyway, that's just, a, I'm not one for moaning really, but you know, I just thought that was bizarre. So I don't think I had that in there. I had it, I think I had, I don't know where I had it, but I'm going to put it there. I like that. That's nice. And then there's space to put something else. And then I did have this here. I've made three of these and I haven't used any of them. I made them before COVID, but I just don't want to use them. I I just I just love them so much. <laughs> but 
but that would go ideally on here. In fact, it'd be better off like that. Anyway, let's just see. I can't remember now where anything was. Where's the man? Here he is. Let's um, ink him. Now he went in one of these and this went underneath him somewhere. To sh but I think he was actually under it like that. It hides a lot of him, so I'm going to put him there. I'm going to put put his name, and then put the ticket under him. Put it like that. That's better. I prefer that to how it was before. And I mean, I, he, he's, I don't think he really needs those flowers, to be honest. I don't think he needs that either. Right, let's leave Tom's for a minute. Let's do Mother. Okay, Mother can have something underneath her as well. my tv i think it's shabby dabby doodah on there she's just uh it's tina she's just going on on a loop i think from one video to the next i'll leave the tv on for the dogs but they've both come in here and they're lying on top of each other you can probably hear them snoring so mother was going in one of these i wonder if this is the right way up yeah, I think it is. I don't know where Mother was going. Was she going there? I know she had some thing underneath her. So there she is. And then this is our story. Um, this is supposed to be going here. Our I don't know whether these need inking actually. I think we get a bit obsessive about the inking sometimes. Our I think this only just fits in here, so we've got to be careful. Story. Yeah, so I've got to get them quite close together. I wanted to have them a bit squiffy, but um, there wasn't enough room really, so I've just got those last few, last couple, three, a bit squiffy for that one, a bit lower, there we are, oops, maybe I should have, um, maybe I should have inked them, I don't know, anyway that's that bit. Yeah, so I was going to put these in this ticket. Because, um, but if I ha if I bury, if I put it underneath Thomas, there's no point. No, just put three in. I love these little, um, when I got them, I was mortified they were so small. I thought, oh my word, that's not what I wanted. 
But now I love them because you can use them up for little tiny things like this. Can you hear the dog snoring? That's not Jess, it's the big dog. It's my daughter's dog. Um, where's the other one? It's not there. So I've only made three holes, haven't I? So we'll have a look now and see. So I've put Thomas because, oh look, there's room for, there's room for four. I put Thomas because I had that name on a ticket um, and there isn't fa father in this, um, on the sheet, freebies. There's mother and daughter and family, but there isn't father. So I put Thomas because, you know, it's mother and Thomas. I'm just thinking behind it, but there you are. Doesn't really matter, does it? Can't pick it up. I mean, yeah, who knows? There we are, like that, but. I don't know whether it needs something else to add to that little cluster. I want to keep Thomas looking quite masculine. Um, I don't know. Just put a bit of something under him. I don't think it, I don't think it's, I don't know, maybe it's me, I don't know, but I don't think I like that. Right, let's do something else. I'm just not happy with Thomas, am I, obviously, because I am not the second time I've tried to put him down and not been able to. Right, so this is going here. Oops, gone a bit mad with that ink, uh, glue rather. Um, and then we want to sew this, don't we? Where's it gone? There it is. We'll sew that onto there. Right, let's... Um, this is a little dangle that I made. I could have made that for the safety pin, uh, for the um, paper clips, but I made it on a safety pin ages ago when I thought, well, that would have been fine on a paper clip, wouldn't it, for that? challenge last month <clears throat> okay so let's do this one these little pearl buttons are gorgeous aren't they um they're not uh, antique or anything or vintage or Got them from the sewing shop. They cost about 12 pence each, actually. They weren't cheap. But still nice. So we'll just put one more in. And find the hole. There it is. There we go. Hello, Jess. Jess is nudging me. What do you want? What do you want? Be nice if she could talk. Oh, maybe not. I don't think it'd be nice if she could talk at all, actually. There we are. That goes on there. Now, I might put something else on the bottom, but it might be a word or something. But at the moment, no. So, put plenty of glue on that. Put that there. Now we'll just put one of these on here because it's not. No, that doesn't fit. Doesn't reach. 
Oh right, now I know where these have all gone. I have got a whole load of them in a in a bag, but in a box, but they have all gone downstairs to hold together um a piece of crochet that needed big um that's all right that needed some big uh clips fasten it anyway that's stayed down all right so we don't need them um yum, yum, yum. we were gonna have we were gonna have mother on her i don't know where mother's gone oh here it is here we are mother Now I did see some one one of these that somebody had done. She'd done the big one. The um, she'd done the 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 sheet that folds in the the A4 sheet that folds in the other direction, and it was absolutely stunning. She'd really captured the essence of um, making a memory box out of this typesetter uh, box. Really liked it. So I've sort of tried to emulate, really, what she did in my own fashion. There we are. <clears throat> um, not sure whether I'm going to whether I should cut the. These dogs are fidgety now. So that would be quite nice on there, but it's it's too big for this project. Let's try it and see. You could always cut it out if need be. I should put something underneath, really. Otherwise, it's all going to be bent. I think that's, yeah, it's not too big, is it, really? Okay. Let's get another one of those. No, I'm not going to set that in either because I'm wondering whether to make the hole in the key, make the keyhole and put something that's looking through the keyhole. Now, I know it's not a very big keyhole, but even so, might be nice. Yeah, that's nice. I could even put two little bits of card. Cut that keyhole out. Don't know that I can do it. Oh, I don't know that I can do it. I've seen these new um, little cutters. And they're about the size of... Um, drive those little drives that you put in your laptop and they've just got this tiny little cutter in them I'm wondering whether I can push that out now and use my scissors for this little bit I'm not very good at circles at the best of times Let's cut that off. That's all right. Not made a bad job of that. much better now but I don't know what we've got that can go under it just put some flowers under it Thank <laughs> you. 
heavish. I suppose to say cherish. <laughs> oh, it says fly. No, I don't think a word's a very good idea, is it? Right, well, that's there. And I'll decide. Um, we could just put the little things on it. On either side. To make it sort of stand up. But I'd have to put whatever we're going to put in underneath. We'd have to do it before we stick it down. Because um, you couldn't use it as a pocket. Oh, let's just stick those on. Um, they need a bit of tape, don't they? dogs want to go for a walk but I've got to wait in for somebody so um, I mean I could take him for a quick walk now but oh I'm just being lazy this is mad it's a mess oh yeah So, right now these, put these on. I was looking for that little square and look, it's on my finger. Tina can't off talk. I can hear her talking away. She's talking about, I don't know what she's talking about, but she's good at talking. I've never been great at talking. If I've got something I need to talk about, then I'm all right, but I can't just talk and talk and talk and talk. Well, I can, but I've got to be in the right situation and the right, um, it's got to be the right place and the right time, I suppose. Well, I suppose videoing is actually the right place and the right time to be talking, but I just get a bit um, engrossed in what I'm doing and I forget to talk. There we are, that's good. That's very 3D now, but I don't know what to put underneath it. Put some flowers under. Hmm. I put an F under it, but it's too big, that F. Oh no, it isn't too big. Is there a smaller F? I wonder if that's the smallest one. And why am I using an F? F for family. I don't know if that's a, that's a big F, so there must be a small one somewhere. Ooh, 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 what's this? Sounds a T trouble once you've got these I was watching I was watching Natalie go through these on her video and she was looking I think she was looking for family and I saw it now and it's there it's there <laughs> and she couldn't find it there an F for family we'll put that in put that down I mean it's not wonderful is it but it's fine it does it does what I want it to do And then we'll just position this over the top of it, like that. Yeah, that's fine. Love it. I love it. 
hope that's enough glue. the ink off it, the ink, the nail varnish off it. Oh, that's good, isn't it? I like that. Oh, what? I'm easily pleased. Right, now that was going to go there with that word. Loved. In that one. And then I'm going to put some diamantes in there. That's there. That's there. And then some diamantes. Just cut the little legs off. Oops, no, they don't want to come off. Um, I sometimes find it harder to work with little scissors than the big ones, to be honest. There off now. So I just want to put that there. That diamond to And that there. Hold to camera again. Do you know them legs now to hold on to? And that there. Oh, oh. Right, let's just blob a bit of glue there. Tip that off. With that, you should be using your little, um, move them somewhere else. Tweezers. Don't know where I've put them now. Okay, so that's that. So I've done that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. Got this. I think we're going to put that near mother there. But I don't know what we're going to put on it. Oh, my back. Let's sew that. But that looks more nautical. I thought that was more a nautical thing. So that could go near to him, to Thomas. It looks like a ship's, you know, it looks like a sort of ship thing. Should we just put it down because, you know, we're just faffing about here, aren't we? That's how we end up with long videos. <laughs> And then I think I wonder if I should have put some 3D on Thomas. Now this is a button, but I'm not going to put any cotton on it. I'm going to put a diamante in the middle of it. <clears throat> Why do they always land upside down? Why do they always land butter side up? It's not very diamante now, it's just covered in glue. So that's coming off. that like that for now and am I going to glue this down do we need to tape these little legs because we made a right mess of the other ones didn't we maybe we don't need to tape these little ones I 
I might just glue that ticket, uh, ink that ticket as well. Yeah, I think we need to tape that. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. Oh, don't stick on that. Oof. Right. I'm running out of glue as well now. It's looking good, I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Um I had a butterfly here. I think that. But I don't think it needs a whole compartment to itself. Maybe it can go on here. Yeah, that's good. It looks good on there. Right, where does it need glue in? Just in the middle. So we're going to put next to mother. What's the next question? That looks nice on there. Oops, I'm trying to glue with the uh, with the cotton. It's nice on there. Right, I'm going to stop for a minute. Um, I've got to go and do... Oh, look, I've forgotten about this. Look, I've got this um, tree, family tree. That's nice. That could go next to Mother, couldn't it? Mothers tend to be the sort of backbone of the family. So let's sew that on to there because it's got a little loop for sewing. So we'll just um, sew that on there, like that. Has that gone through? Yeah. One more. There we are. That's good. I'm going to just catch this under here. There. 
that's nice, isn't it? I think I need, I think I need something else. Let's just sew it. It's just pass it down and then. So you put your blobs of glue on these little spots, and then. more where you've got solid fabric there's something going along an ambulance or something that's what they're barking at there we are um so that'll dry clear because I've got rather a lot of glue there. So hopefully that will dry clear and you'll only be able to see the, the little dots on the dot tool. And uh, there we are. So we're making a start. Right, I'm going to have to go now and sort these dogs out. I'll be back soon.